So race 38 on your cars and our second here from Ormwick and our second hunter chasing up on ultimate race of the week. So two miles and three furlongs. Esther Tide revelation for James Shea along with Norcroft Mountain. Flames of Galileo for Paul Rhodes. Glisk for Marty Needham. Even Sol for Alex Cherry. Heathcote Monarch for Thomas Rogers. Jemima Cartwell for Stu Gray. Baby Blue for Alex Cherry. And Swiss Gris for Stu Gray. Plenty of trainers here. Mob handed. Myself, James Shea and Alex got a couple apiece. Let's hope we can get a win up. Flags raising their away. Approach the first, which is going to be after this bend here at Ormick. It's going to get a little bit of running in first. And it's Glisk, our reluctant leader for Martin Lidham, but moving out on the wide outside is Heathcote one for Thomas Rogers. He's going to be the first to rise, first of the 14 fences. Oh, and he's not. He didn't rise at all. He went straight into it. Unlucky, Mr. Rogers. Horse has gone at the first. He crossed the road. Pretty tightly packed. Nobody really wants to take this up as they get to the second. They all get over it. A poor jump there by the Jemima Cartwheel. And through the top of it, shuffles back. So we're going to be led by Norcroft Mountain with Flames of Galileo for company. You know, Legs away from Esther Tide Revelation and Swiss Gris. Then we've got even someone glisk up against the fence. And Jemima Cartwheel, baby blue as they get to the third. We'll get over that. And Galileo jumped it better and takes a hold again. Quite a tight course here at Ormwick. We don't have massive fields. So it's Flames of Galileo still taking a keen hold. Norcroft Mountain in second, also taking a hold. Nobody wants to take this up. It's finally Flames of Galileo doesn't settle. Still being held up as they go into the fourth. He took it slowly, measured it well. So they're all pretty much together as a length, for, length and a half between them all. Ones are out wide here at Jemima Cartwheel and Swiss Gris as they get to the fifth. The one slower jumps, just likes to always baby blue for Alex Cherry. And it's Flames of Galileo as they go past the winning post with the circuit to go. And Swiss Gris out wide, knock off Mountain. Just a length back to even so on Esther Tide Revelation. Nobody wants to take this up, it's a real uh, cat and mouse race this one. It's Norcroft Mountain that's going to lead us now. With baby blue as we come to the water, all over that. Swiss Gris was a little bit slow on landing. The Milo Accord is still to run. Looks like we're going to change the lead again, and this time it's Glisk that comes up with Norcroft Mountain. Between those is Flames of Galileo and Baby Blue as they get to the seventh. A couple of mistakes there by noticeably Norcroft and Mountain who shuffles back to the Cartwheel didn't get over it well. So Glisk has taken it up now. So Glisk leads, leads from Flames of Galileo and Baby Blue. Then the James Shea horses Norcroft Mountain and Esther Tide Revelation. Between those is Swiss Gris. Then you've just got Even So and Jemima Cartwheel towards the rear as they get to the eighth. The leader takes it really well. Jumps a length advantage away from Flames of Galileo. Esther Tide Revelation is third. Norcroft Mountain is fourth as you get to the ninth. That's five from home. Poor jump again this time by Norcroft Mountain and shuffles right back towards the rear. So Glisk has the lead. Leads by a couple to Esther Tide Revelation and Flames of Galileo. The four roads coupled back to Swiss Gris and Jemima Cartwheel as they swing left handed again with four to jump. And it's Glisk that leads from Flames of Galileo and Esther Tide Revelation. It's the big open ditch coming up. Are they all going to get over it? and it's Glisk that approaches it first, takes it well, as does the rest, so it's Glisk that still leads, from, and we've lost Heathcote Monarch, he's been pulled up, he had, oh no, we lost him right at the beginning, of my, my, my mistake, so it's Glisk as we come down to the final half mile, gets over the 11th well, they all take it well, but it is Glisk that still leads, here comes Esther Tide, revelation to throw down a challenge on the wide outside, is Swiss Gris running on well, Flames of Galileo hasn't asked for anything yet, but it's still Glisk that leads us, with a couple to jump, Glisk leads from Esther Tide, revelation, Swiss Gris, Flames of Galileo. The leader was over it, but ever so slow. Pecked on landing Swiss Gris. Esther Tide Revelation comes alongside. They swing left handed. There's just one, two to jump, and it's Glisk and Esther Tide Revelation from Swiss Gris and Flames of Galileo. Baby Blue running on Jemima Cartwheel, and even so, I've got a lot to do. So inside the two, and it's Glisk from Esther Tide Revelation. Swiss Gris, Flames of Galileo running on really well now. Baby Blue, but then got to catch this leader who's holding off all challenges, gets over the penultimate well. Poor jump there by Flames of Galileo. But it's Glisk that leads. Here comes Esther Tide Revelation and Swiss Gris. Running on really well is Baby Bell that gets the last. A better jump by of all is Swiss Gris. And Swiss Gris jumps himself into the lead. Comes out of nowhere. There's no run in here. Swiss Gris takes that to Stu Gray from Esther Tide Revelation in second. Glisk was third. Makes all the difference. The jump there with less than a quarter of a furlong. 
and a run in. So it's a win for Swiss Gris for Stu Gray. Master Tide Revelation and Glisk. So that's a good win for me. I'll take that. That moves me on to the massive five National Hunt wins. And I take it with Swiss Gris. Master Tide Revelation was second with James Shea. Third was Gliss for Martin. And fourth was Baby Lou for Alex Cherry. And Jemima Carter will get up for fifth.